let us now look at the uncertainty sources one by one. So, I have grouped them on this and the following slide according to the categories of the uh, chemical analysis procedure. And chemical analysis starts with sampling and since our measurement is only related to the sample, not to the overall object, then sampling uncertainty for us is not an uncertainty source and we do not need to take it into account. But the next step, a very important one, is sample preparation and this has numerous factors that affect it. First of all, the sample can be inhomogeneous, the analyte separation from the sample can be incomplete and also the analyte can absorb on the vessel walls. Luckily, in this case, we have a homogeneous sample, water sample. We do not separate the analyte from the sample, so there's no analyte separation uh, effect. And also ammonium ion does not really absorb on vessel walls. But this sample preparation has other uncertainty sources still which are important. The analyte or the photometric complex can decompose and this is certainly a factor also in ammonia determination because the photometric complex indeed loses its color with time. The analyte can in principle volatilize with ammonium. It's not very serious but still can happen a little bit. The reaction with the photometric reagent can be incomplete. And this uncertainty source actually is coupled to this one because from the point of view of our result it's not important whether the photometric complex partially decomposed or it did not even form. So these two effects actually have the same effect eventually on the result. And finally contamination is very much possible with ammonium determination because ammonium is everywhere around us. And all these factors listed here are taken into account by this additional term, delta CDC, which, which covers the additional factors that can influence the analysis result. And now the next uncertainty sources are listed here. Preparation and dilution of solutions. Here it is first of all kept in mind the sample solution and this is accounted for by the dilution factor Fd. Then weighing, weighing comes into play with preparation of the calibration solutions because the standard substance has to be weighed. The sample we measure by volumetry, so in the case of sample amount weighing is, is not in, taken into account. And the weighing in the case of calibration graph is taken into account by B1 and B0. Then calibration of the photometer, this has in turn two uncertainty sources, the purity of the standard substance and also the preparation of solutions. And both of these uncertainty sources have again effect on the calibration graph slope and the others. And finally, the measurement of the sample itself, meaning the photometric measurement with the sample solution, there can be interferences from other components in the sample that also can absorb radiation and thereby give us, give us increased results. Then repeatability of the reading is of course a factor, meaning that if we measure the same solution absorbance several times, we get slightly different results. And finally, drift of the reading. This means that if we measure with some time lag, then we can get systematically different results because the properties of the spectrophotometer slightly change over time. And all these effects are taken into account by the input quantity A sample, the sample absorbance. And then finally, 
we have here memory effects, and memory effects in the case of ammonium determination do not come into play.